Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I have found my old computer I built post high school over seven years ago, and I wanted to see how well this computer can hold up in today's modern games. This computer served me well after high school and helped me just get through my community college years. You know, I was able to game and get some work done on it. And eventually I upgraded and built my own computer. I remember specifically that I wanted to play Escape from Tarkov and I honestly forgot what my old system the I forgot what the specs were, but I remember that when I built this computer, I was finally able to play Escape from Tarkov, at least on a 1080p 60 hertz monitor. I already removed the graphics card. It actually had the EVGA 1070 Ti, but today I actually wanted to see how well my 7900 XT can perform in this old piece of hardware. Okay, before you guys go for me in the comments, I just wanted to say that I know it's not super old, it's just relatively old compared to how new components keep releasing every year. But still, I wanted to see how well a modern high-end graphics card can run in this old piece of hardware. Okay guys, let's do it. First time in five years. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Okay, so I think I moved whatever was blocking that fan. It was just some power supply wires, but let's go ahead and boot it up now. Okay, that's a good sign. F2, F2. Let me just move the camera a bit. Wow. It's been a long time since I've seen this bio screen here. We have an i5-8400. Wow, okay. And we have 16 gigabytes of memory. So each stick is about two gigabytes. No, I did the math wrong. <laughs> Four gigabyte sticks. Okay, we got Windows 11 here, I'm pretty sure. So let's go ahead and boot it up. Okay, we booted up and everything seems to be working fine so far. I'll go ahead and install Windows 11 and then we will install Epic Games and install Cyberpunk. So we can benchmark Cyberpunk on both computers. Okay. So I have Cyberpunk already installed. Let's go ahead and run the benchmark and then we'll go ahead and run the benchmark on the other computer. So for some reason, I'm actually having an issue with my capture card right now. So we'll have to record the old fashioned way here. Hey guys, it's me from the future about almost three weeks later after I filmed that video. But I had one of my friends film or a little explanation on why we got similar results using the old system and the new system testing out Cyberpunk using actually a 6650 XT. Now, I didn't use the 7900 XT only because it could not fit in that old case I had with the 8th gen i5 but a 6650 XT is still a relatively modern card by today's standards. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and cut to the video. So without wasting your time, let's imagine your computer as a car. The driver is the CPU and the engine is the GPU. The CPU, or the driver is responsible for controlling the car efficiently and making sure that the horsepower is used efficiently to get you to where you need to go. The GPU brings the raw horsepower and is responsible for how fast your car can go, how fast it can go around corners, do all the fancy things that cars can do. So let's say you put a really good driver into a car that is not so good, 
you can basically guarantee that the car will be able to run the engine and the rest of the car at its maximum potential without it being a holdup from the driver's end. Whereas if you put a bad driver into a really good car, it doesn't matter what the maximum uh, performance of the car is. It is not going to be able to perform at its max speed because uh, the driver is inexperienced or cannot handle the max power. You can gear your build towards what you need it to do. So like if you need it to run a race, you can get a fancy car with a nice driver, or if you just need something to light game or whatever, you can get like a cheap car, build it up, and then work your skills over time, put in more parts, whatever you do. It's all about finding the balance between your parts and what you can afford and what you're trying to do. Sal's car and engine was a 6650 XT. He had a decent driver in it already, something that I would say better fit uh, that computer build. So it, it was a decent driver and it was able to fully drive the car at its max capacity, which is why he was confused as to when he uh, put in a new driver, it was going the same speed because the car's speed was not ever based on the driver's capabilities to drive the car. It was based on the slowness of his GPU. So this, the i5-8400 actually let the 6650XT run its full strength and didn't hold it back at all. So this video didn't go quite as how I planned it. So next time I'll probably test a higher resolution for both systems or maybe even a different graphics card just so that I can see when does the i5-8400 hold back the uh, current graphics card. But on the bright side, if you're still running an i5-8400 or an i7-8700 and you're using a mid-range card and playing at 1080p, it's probably still being fully utilized and it's probably not holding those cards as back as, you know, as much as we think, which is probably a good thing. So if you're playing at 1080p medium low settings, you still may not need to upgrade, if I'm being honest. If you like this kind of content, please hit that like button, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, what things I could have done differently, um, or just provide feedback. I'm open to all of it. All right, well, I'll see you guys later. Peace.